American tradition. Okay, American tradition. Because we have our black men out here abusing their women on the 4th of July, literally in the streets, while the police is outside. His behind could go to jail. He mad because we trying to save his life. We like, bro, don't hit that woman. You got the police right there. We would rather you not hit the woman so you can go home in peace. But now, we're reading the Bible because of his mindset. He's out here following traditions of men. Fourth of July, think about it. What was our people doing in the 4th of July? No, I want you to tell me. God said, keep the commandments. We want to be like everybody else. That's why you got 4th of July now. That's why you hear the big boom, bang, pow, all now. Because everybody's celebrating. And we was in slavery in 1776. We wasn't free. So what, are we, what was we independent from? We ain't independent today. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's gonna rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this through. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, Bible-based movement. You are now right. How many of the in the motel? Understood. I, I understand what the issue is. I understand what the issue is. Yeah. Hey, go to First Timothy three and three real quick. First Timothy chapter three, verse three. First Timothy. We pay bills too. We all up. I'm married with five sons, and I pay bills and take care of that wife. Read First Timothy chapters. I would also come out here to teach our people too. Let's read the Bible about our men striking a women. Read. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 3. Not given to wine. Not given to wine. That's our men and women problem. They want to drink too much. They get drunk. Read. No striker. No what? No striker. No what? No striker. You're not supposed to be striking your woman upside the head. That's right. But our men instead don't want to do what God said. And that is literally, you have the police out here. Why you literally hitting her upside the head? She said, you don't, you, you going to go to jail today. Our darn women and men are bugged out because they would rather fight each other. Mind you, we're supposed to not be doing so. Read that. Not give it to one. No striker. Not greedy. Not greedy. A filthy lucre. A filthy lucre because we go out here and work all these nonsense jobs and hustle on the corner because of greed. Read. But patient. But so we're supposed to be patient with our wife. Not the girlfriend because it said wife. You're not supposed to be beating on your on your lady, bro. You literally hit the girl coming across the street, and the Bible said you're supposed to be patient with her. Read. Not a brawler. Not a what? Not a brawler. Not a person that's all contentious brawling, bro. The Bible says you're not supposed to be like that. Read on. Not covetous. Not covetous, bro. We don't want your money. Keep your money. No, we don't want your money. And we don't sell bean pies because we ain't Muslims. We followers of God up here. Read. One that rule it well his own house. You said a man that has to do what? Rule it well his own house. A man that has to rule what? Rule it well his own house. So you have to learn to rule well your own house. You don't know how to rule your house yet, bro. That is what the Bible asks you to do. But instead, you don't want to do what God said. Instead, you don't want to do what God We ain't asked nobody for no money, and we've been out here for over an hour. And we ain't asked nobody for one dime. Read that part again. One that got to rule what? Well, his own house. So, bro, you listen, listen, bro. 
My name is Butter. Butter. Blue so Jesus. Butter. I got six so Butter. Kids so Butter. Take care of. Butter. All oh, pray. And you supposed to. And you supposed to take care of them, Butter, just like I got to take care of the five I got. Right. So you got to take yeah. care of your seven. I got to take care of my five. Right. But this is what me and you have to apply. Go ahead. Yeah. One that rule it well. His own house. We have to learn to rule our houses well. Right. We have to rule our houses like well. Like all praises if we sound like a prophet because that's who we are. That's right. Having that's right. your children in subjection. You got to have your kids in subjection unto God, laws, and you. Read. With all gravity. Uh -huh. For if a man know not how to rule his own house. So if a man don't know how to rule his own house. If you have to beat on your woman to rule your house, you can't rule your house. Right. If you got to abuse your wife, you can't rule your, you rule your own house. Right. Read. How shall he take care of the church of God? How you gonna take care of your people when you can't even take care of your own house because you would rather put your hands on? How you gonna take care of the people when you can't even take care of the woman in your house without putting your hands on them? Because that's what our men would rather do. We would rather beat up the woman upside the head and then get mad when a black man corrects you. And that's what we out here to do. Pay your bills. We pay our bills. That's the point. So you talking to a bo bunch of brothers that got jobs and pay their bills. Right. Yeah, so right. you're not talking to people that don't so, live what so we teach. We live what, what we teach. So you ain't got nothing better to do in the fourth. No, we, no, no. This is the best thing. All oh, praises. Ezekiel chapter three. Let's see what God said. Let's see what God said. Let's see what God said. You said we ain't got nothing better to do. No, we don't. Because this is the best thing we can do for our people. That's that. right. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Uh -huh. Son of man, I have made thee a watch. So, butter, listen to the scripture. You asked if we got anything better. Go ahead, read. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So, so, butter, so, butter, butter, we are the watchmen of our people. We tell our people God's laws, whether they like it or not. And you don't like it right now, butter. Go ahead. Therefore, Hear the word at my mouth Amen. and give them warning. What are we supposed to do? Give them warning. From who? From me. From God. Word. We are trying to warn you from God, bruh. That's what we trying to do. My sister's right here. How y'all doing? Now, now we teaching our people. Now, do you celebrate 4th of July? You celebrate 4th of July? Yes. Why? Why? Because your babies do. Why? Yes. American tradition. Okay, American tradition. Because we have our black men out here abusing their women on the 4th of July, literally in the streets. While the police is outside, his behind could go to jail. He mad because we trying to save his life. We like, bro, don't hit that woman. You got the police right there. We would rather you not hit the woman so you can go home in peace than you hit the woman and you go to jail. We would rather that be the case. But now, but now, but now, we're reading the Bible because of his mindset. He's out here following traditions of men. Fourth of July, think about it. What was our people doing in the Fourth of July? No, I want you to tell me. Yes, we were slaves. So what are we celebrating? Because we wasn't free in 1776. We were still working in the cotton fields in 1776. So what are we celebrating today? Well, None of our kids know about our holidays, which are all in the Bible. Right. Think about it. Fourth of July is about what? Independence. Uh, in, independence of who? Who got independent? Uh, America. 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 America became independent from Britain, so white people became independent from other white people. Right. Now, what about Passover in the Bible? What is that about? Passover is about the Israelites being freed from the Egyptians. What about Feast of Dedication? That is about us, the Israelites, being free from so-called white people. But we don't know those laws. We don't know those holidays. And we say our kids celebrate the days of today. Mm -hmm. My sons don't. My sons don't even know what 4th of July is. They don't have a clue. They actually know what Passover is. They know what Feast of Dedication is. They know what Tabernacles is. Those are holidays where we were free from our oppressors. But now we celebrate the freedom of our oppressors from other oppressors. Doesn't make any sense, right? So do you go to church? Yeah. Why? To worship and commune with other Christians? Okay, to worship and commune with other Christians. What does the word Christian mean? Um, isn't it like a... Uh, Christian 
follow Christ. Like follow Christ. So a follower of Christ. Now, did Christ sin? Did he? Yes. Did he ever sin? Not that I'm aware of. The Bible says he never sinned. Did Christ celebrate the holidays of today or did he celebrate the ones in the Bible? So if we follow Christ, what should we do if we're real Christians then? Follow the ones in the Bible. That would mean your church has not taught you to follow Christ at all. Because it's the truth. That's why I say it like that. It's the truth. Because your church go to church on what day? Saturday, right? I mean Sunday, right? What day does the commandment say though? Saturday. Saturday. So your church is teaching you wrong. That's plain and simple. So that would mean you're already worshiping the wrong day a week. Every Sabbath is a high holy day to God. But then you'll go to church on Sunday and disregard the holiday that God created. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So your daughters don't know about what God did. Right. They know about what men did. Right. And when God said we're not supposed to follow men. Now. They have a 25% chance of getting married in their whole life. Wake them up! But literally in the 80s, it was 80%, over 80%. Today, they have a 25% chance of ever getting married in their life. Forget stay married, ever get married, period. But our women are still having kids. Are you from Columbia, from here? I've been here long enough, Okay, now did you know because your daughters, they have a 50% chance of getting with a man that has an STD in Colombia today. 50%. Literally, Colombia is 50%. That's what it is. Bruh. Bruh. You, when you celebrating the 4th of July, but he, he's celebrating the 4th of July. So now, quick question. Uh huh? He's straight. He's straight. Most I got him. He all right. He just mad because a black man told him quit hitting his woman. Mind you, you got the police standing right there. The police is standing right there. If he hit his woman in front of the police, what they gonna do? So what are we trying to do? We trying to keep him from getting locked up and he's mad at us. Because we read in the Bible and said, bro, quit hitting that woman. Right. When the police all praised, it was a cost in the way, so he didn't see it. So I got, no, I got a question about your cross. Real quick, real quick. What does that cross mean to you? And then we're going to close up. What does it mean? It means you saved. Are you saved or are you still in the land of your slavery right now? I'm saved. Saved from what? Okay, quick question. Quick question. Because <laughs> you said... No, I'm not messing with you. I'm at, what's your name? What's your name? Tyrone. Tyrone, my name's Aton. So Tyrone, I'm finna show you a law out of the Bible that that is an idol. Because mind you, when Christ died on the cross, wasn't there two other men up there with him? So which one you wearing it for then? To all three? No, I'm wearing it for one. You only wearing it for one? Me. You wearing it for you? Yeah. But is that an idol and then did God tell you to wear that? No. Now did God tell you to take it off? No. Can I read it out of the Bible where he did? I'm going to read it for you where he no. said it. I'm going to read it now. No. I'm going to read it out of the Bible. No. Read it. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 22. So you don't know what God said. You shall defile also the covering of thy graven images uh -huh. of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. So that's a gold cross. God told our people we would worship false gods in the last days and one of them would be a cross. No, the Bible says you ain't supposed to wear a cross at all. Read. Thou shalt cast them away. He should do what with that cross? Cast them away. He should do what with that cross? Cast them away. He should throw it away, Tyrone. Go ahead. As a mysterious cloth. As a bloody woman's tampon. As a woman's bloody tampon, God says that's what you okay. have around your neck. Okay. Right. We're reading that out of the Bible. Okay. So what should you do, Tyrone? Go ahead. What's your question? That's your blessing. Your blessing, that is that that don't do anything. Every time I wake up in the morning, I thank the good Lord. And I wear this here, I'm saved. But that don't do nothing, and we still in the land of our slavery, Tyrone. So you ain't saved yet. Watch, watch, I'm gonna prove it. Go to Revelation chapter 2. Where it says he that endureth until the end, because the end ain't happened. So that would mean we ain't saved yet. Right. Let's yeah. read that. Revelation chapter 2. Go ahead. Let's read it. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. Bring it up. But that which ye have already, 
Hold fast till I come. So we got to hold on to what we learned from the Bible. Go And you just learned you should be throwing that away. Go ahead. And he that overcometh. And he that overcome his sin. And keepeth my works uh -huh. until the end. And keep the commandments until the end. The end ain't here yet, Tyrone. The end has not gotten here yet. We in the last days, but the end day is so it say you must keep the commandments until the end. Go ahead. To him will I give power uh -huh. over the nation. To him then you get power over the nation. Right now we under the nations, Tyrone. Wait a minute. So then you should keep the commandments until then. That's what you're saying, Tyrone. That's what you just said. Yeah. So why don't you keep the commandments and throw that away? Because that's a commandment we just read. So keep the commandment. You see how people don't want to keep the commandments, Tyrone? But if you don't keep the commandments, what's the judgment, Tyrone? What's the price? Romans chapter 6, 23. Watch this. We're going to read it. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin. The payment for breaking God's law is death. That's death. Second death. He all right. Huh? No. Throw it in the trash. We, no, neither one of us. We don't want it. We all threw hours away. We all threw hours away. So throw yours away. Keep your chain, but throw the charm away. We wore chains and stuff in the Bible. We wore gold, but we didn't wear idols. And that's an idol. That is a teacher of life. Watch. Young man, what is this around his neck? Huh? What is it? It's a chain. No, what is, what is, what's the charm? What is that a cross of? What does it represent? God, now, 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 that's a young man, right? Let's get the teacher of lies. Let's see if you, you what you're wearing is teaching him a lie. Read. Yeah, yeah. Back in chapter 2, verse 18. Yeah. What profited the graven image uh -huh. that the maker thereof have graven? It said, what good is that graven image around your neck? Go ahead. The molten image and a teacher of lies. He believes that that is for God. Because you wearing it in society say that that's for God when it is not, bro. No, no. God does not live in no darn cross. Right. That has nothing to do with Jesus whatsoever. God, Absolute God zero. Cross, he did. Okay. But a whole bunch of our people died on the cross. So what about that? <laughs> Go ahead. That the maker of his work trusted therein. It said the maker of his work trusted therein. He trusts in a cross that cannot save him. He has to put it on his neck for it to be there. It can't even jump around his neck itself. He got to pick it up and put it on. Can that save you? Nothing like that can save you, but he trusts in it. Go ahead. To make dumb idol. What, what did God call that? To make dumb idol. He called it a dumb idol. And let's see what happens when our people believe in idols. Go ahead. Woe unto him. They say woe unto him. Destruction to that person. Woe means destruction. Woe unto him that said to the wood. That say to the wood. What did Christ die on? A cross. What was it made out of? <laughs> what say that again? Read it again. Woe unto him that said to the wood. That say to the cross that everybody wants to wear today, like that man had on. Awake. They say awake. Hey, heal me. Save me. Can it do that? That's why it's destruction to that man that does that, because that's idol worship. That's idolatry. Right. That's breaking the very first commandment. So yes, sir. Questions? Hold on. Go ahead. I'm coming to him right now. To the dumb stone. Uh -huh. Or to the dumb stone. Islam. They march around the stone. God called it a dumb stone. The right. cobblestone is a dumb stone. It's an idol. Right. Go ahead. Arise. And it's they tell that to arise and save them. And it can't do anything. Read. Arise. It shall teach. Uh -huh. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, uh -huh. and there is no breath at all. It said there is no breath. It's not alive. It's dead. It can't save anybody because it's dead already. It's dead itself. How is it going to save you when you alive? Bring it up. How? So our people are following idols and have no clue what the heck they do. Right. So what was your question, bro? So my, que my question is, uh, it, it's not what you talking about, yeah. right? Go ahead. It's about my topic. What your I topic. Feel, What's your topic? I feel like, um, I just want to understand, mm -hmm. um, if Mary and Adam was the first, you know what I'm saying, yeah. people, why when Mary ate the apple, why did it be sin with Adam? You know what I'm saying? No. Did Adam sin? 
Adam sin. Let's get that. Uh, where is it at? Where uh, Adam was in the transgressions. And Timothy's yeah. nine, uh, three, and then things like thirteen. Is that it? It should be. It should be. Yeah, for Adam was in the transgression. Yes, read that. 13. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 13. For Adam was first four, then Eve. So Adam was first, right? Then his wife, Eve, right? Go ahead. And Adam was not deceived. Adam was not deceived. Now hold that. Get hold on. Listen, listen. Hebrews chapter 10, 25. I got one question. Watch this. Give me a second, sis. Let me ask this question, okay? I'm gonna come to you. Is that what I want where it said if you sin willfully? Watch this. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. So, so Adam understood that he wasn't supposed to touch that tree. Go ahead. There remained no more sacrifice for sin. So what Adam did was presumptuous sin. He knew what he was doing was wrong. Eve was deceived. Adam was not deceived. He knew what he did was wrong because he knew he wasn't supposed to touch it. Right. She was tricked. Adam was not tricked. Right. He did it on purpose. Right. That's what that's saying. Now let's go back, let me read it on. He followed, he followed after that woman right. on purpose. Right. Our black men today follow after women now. That's why our communities are jacked up because black men follow women instead of black men leading women. Go ahead. Second Edges chapter three verse 21. For the first Adam, Bearing a wicked heart transgressed. So what did Adam do? Bearing a wicked heart. So he had a wicked mind. Transgressed. He sinned. He went against God. Go ahead. It was overcome. Uh -huh. So be all that they are born of him. So everybody now that came after Adam. Thus infirmity was made permanent. Uh -huh. And the law also in the heart of the people. Uh -huh. With all malignity of the root. So that the good departed away. And the evil abode still. And the evil abode still. So all the good went away and evil abode still. So when Adam sinned, everybody that came after Adam, we all have a little evil in it. That's why the Bible is here to correct us. Right. Because we all are, matter of fact, let's get that in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. Jeremiah 17 and 9. Watch this. Let's read this. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful. The heart is what? Deceitful. That is what we got because Adam sinned. He went off. All of us now have a evil, deceitful mind. Because that's what the heart is in the Bible, your mind. Go ahead. Above all things. Uh -huh. And desperately wicked. And desperately what? Wicked. Our minds are wicked. Desperately, we want to do evil. The Bible is here to correct us so we don't want to do those things no more. Because we have to be unlike Adam and actually do what God said. Right. You understand? So that's the Bible. Go ahead. Who is God? Nobody ever seen God. All praises. Go to John 1 verse 1. I want verse 1. And then, and then, then I want word. Hmm. Let's read that first. Read that first. Yep. John 1 verse 1. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning. Then I want the word where uh, Christ actually said that, that you've seen God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Never, Who is that? Never, no, know. no, we did not. We did not deal with God the Father. We've only dealt with Christ the whole time. Right, right. Because, because, watch. Let's see. Watch. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who created everything. Go ahead. The same was in the beginning with God. Uh, and the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. So everything was made by him that was with God. So he made everything and everybody. Right. Go ahead. And without him was not anything made. So nothing was made without the word that was there with God. Now right. jump down to where it says Christ. Jump down. I think it's like, what is it? 14? Read that. Verse 14. And the word was made flesh uh -huh. and dwelt among us. Uh -huh. And we beheld his glory. And the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Uh, so who's the only begotten son of God? Who's the only son of God? I Jesus guess. Christ. Right. That's who created everything. That's who we dealt with. We never dealt with God the Father. He right. is the only one that's dealt with God the Father. Bring it up. That's why when they ask, hey, what does God look like? Christ had to tell them, I'm right here with you. 
because he created everything and everybody. So everybody don't understand. They think they really dealing with God the Father. No, we dealt with God the Son. Right. Let's read that. Where's the final scripture where it says we are one with Christ and with the Father? It's in John as well. Let's read that. John 14. I want the one where it say that uh that that where he actually said about to, to Philip. Yep. John chapter 14, verse 8. Go ahead. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. And so, so remember, Philip said, Hey, show us the Father. Show us God the Father. Go ahead. And it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long long time with you? So Christ said, Hey, and I've been with you a long time. He asked, Let us see the Father. Remember, who created everything and everybody? Christ. They said Christ did. So Christ said, so they asked, what does the Father look like? And Christ said, well, shoot. And I've been with you the whole time. Go ahead. And yet, hast thou not known me, Philip? But you ain't even know. Because you didn't even know that Christ created everything, Philip. But the Bible said Christ created everything and everybody. So who's our Father? Who created us? Christ did. Go ahead. He that have seen me uh -huh. have seen the Father. Uh -huh. So he that have seen Christ have seen the Father. Now, let's get where we are one with, with God as long as we're doing what Christ said. Watch this. 1721. Yeah. Read. John chapter 17, verse 21. Uh -huh. That they all may be one as thou, mm -hmm. Father, are in me. So let everybody uh, jump up to 20. Read 20. Verse 20. Neither pray I for these on, alone. But for them also, which shall believe on me uh -huh. through their word. So Christ is praying for those, not just for those alone that was there with him, but also those that believed in his work. So the apostles in them believe. Christ is telling God, I don't only pray for them that are here, but also those that believe in your works as well. Go ahead. That they all may be one. That they all may be one. Go ahead. As thou, Father, uh -huh. are in me. As God, you are one with me. They're going to be one with us. Go ahead. And I in thee, uh -huh. that they also may be one in us, uh -huh. that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So who sent Christ? God. And whenever we do what God said and or believe what Christ did and believe in Christ and keep the commandments, we are one with Christ and God. Right. That's the Bible. You understand? Yeah. I, I, I you have a flyer. Yeah, What's your next ready. question? Let one more question because we do got to close well, up. <laughs> well, other question is, I'll, not to take your time on. No, what's up? So, when I read my Bible, it says that we was disobedient. Yes. So he made us suffer 400 years. In slavery. Which we made slavery. That was in Egypt. The 400 years was in Egypt. There was no time period put on this one. There was no 400 years put in this slavery. Why would he make us suffer when... All praise Amos 3 and 1. Why would, Why would he make us suffer? All praise. Can can we touch God? So, so he created a belt. He created white people to be our belt. So we go off, he make us slaves. That's all in the Bible. Every time we sinned against God, he made us slaves. Then when we repent, he saved us. Then we would go off and sin against God, he make us slaves again. Then we repent, then he saved us. Okay, so watch so this. Watch, watch. We're going to read it out of the Bible why he did it. Watch. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Yeah. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. We ain't talking to the whole world. He only talking to the Israelites. We are the Israelites. That's yes, right. we are the real Jews. Because nobody else went through what we went through. Even right now. Go ahead. Against the whole family. Against just the Israelites. The whole family. Go ahead. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So he brought us out of Egypt from under Pharaoh. Saying, you only. You what? You only. You what? You only uh -huh. have I known. So he only knows the Israelites. Of all the families of the earth, Go ahead. therefore I will punish you uh -huh. for all your iniquity. So we punish the Israelites for their sins. He don't punish everybody else because everybody else ain't his people. Right. We are the only ones that was told to do something and don't do it. Right. Everybody else is doing what they were told to do. We are the only people on the planet, the only thing on the planet that ain't doing what God said. We are. Everybody else, white people were put on the earth to go against us. They're doing their job. Chinese people were put on the earth to go against us. They doing their job. The only people that ain't doing their job is the Israelites who God said keep the commandments. We want to be like everybody else. That's why you got 4th of July now. That's why you hear the big boom, bang, pow all now. Because everybody's celebrating, and we was in slavery in 1776. We wasn't free. So what are we? What was we independent from? We ain't independent today. But we're celebrating independence of so-called white people from other white people. 
Right. And then they just celebrated Juneteenth last month. Right. What was we celebrating if today was our independence? What were we doing before? Yeah. And then Juneteenth has nothing to do with us because they celebrating and created a holiday to laugh and say, y'all found out two years late. So we're going to make it a day when y'all found out. <laughs> Black people celebrated and cook and grill and do dumb crap just like they doing today. They are mocking the heck out of us and we won't do what God said. We're the only people. Lions and tigers and birds do what God say. The waters do what God say. Black people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will not do what God said. That's why he punished us for our sins. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 